Mm-hmm. Yeah. For all the cows. That's a nice little number there. Sounds great acoustically, too. Performed live here on Rockline. You'll also find it, of course, uh, on the album from Foo Fighters, who are with us live in Seattle this evening. Before we head back to the phones, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't welcome back a great Rockline affiliate, 96 Wave. WAVF in Charleston, South Carolina. Great to have you folks back on the rock line. And I uh, hope to be hearing from you uh, tonight and every Monday night on Truly Interactive Radio Rock Line. Very, very tasty for all the cows. <laughs> tasty. The perfect word. Right. There you go. Just like ye all together. Back to <laughs> a place where they have uh, one or two cows from time to time. Wichita, Kansas is where we're headed. T95 is a station. And Morgan... You're on with Foo Fighters. Hi, I was wondering um, what bands did the other guys play in before Foo Fighters? Uh, Nate and I used to play... Oh, hi, I'm William. <laughs> Nate and I used to play in a band together called Sunny Day Real Estate, and we were also in other bands, as like everybody was. And I don't know. But that was the band that Nate and I came from. Wait, were you guys in together. Chewbacca Kaboom together? Oh, well, as a matter of fact, Dave, yes, we were. <laughs> <laughs> a, lo- a great, um, great name. I love that name. Uh, and uh, Sunny Day Real Estate, for those in the Seattle area, of course, would know that that uh, band was, was quite popular up in, in the Northwest and, uh, and had quite a following. And, of course, Pat, along with Dave, uh, part of Nirvana. Morgan, thanks for the call. Warren in Pasadena, Texas, listening to Rock 101, KLO. Well, in Houston tonight. Hi, Warren. Hey, how's it going, guys? All right, how you doing, Warren? Oh, pretty good. I just want to say, Dave, you're one of the most incredible drummers ever, and I got a couple. Oh, questions. now uh, you uh, you got me blushing. <laughs> All righty, uh, I got I'm a couple questions. Uh, first one is, I noticed you played drums as a side project with Mike Watt and Tom Petty the past year, and I wanted to know if uh, you'd be possibly playing with anyone else in the future. And uh, the other question was of. Uh, how did y'all get involved with the X-Files soundtrack, and would there ever be any, like, Nirvana outtakes or import singles or album ever come out? Wow. A lot of questions. Um, what was the first question? No, uh, let's see. <laughs> what the hell what I was just, the first I question? I just forget. <laughs> I forgot my... Um, the first question was... Drum- oh, drumming. Uh, not anytime soon, because I sort of believe in focusing on one thing when you're doing something uh, like this band. Um... <clears throat> putting all of my energy into doing this and uh, just focusing on that, not really doing much else. Um, what was the next question? Uh, X-Files. X-Files. I like the X-Files. It's a good show. And um, they were doing a soundtrack and they knew that the, that the band's name and cover the album and all that, uh, whatever, name of the company label, <laughs> had to do with space, and so they just sort of figured that it would be a good match, and it was fun. And Nirvana Outtakes, um, I think that there will be a Nirvana Live album someday uh, with live music from 1988 all the way up to 1994. So, But as far as Outtakes, there's only a few things that haven't been released. Okay, so look but for maybe a, someday we'll see the light uh, live uh, album uh, in the future. Look forward to that. Thanks, Warren, for the call. We will have more from Foo Fighters, more of your calls, and yeah, they're going to play live for us again. So stick around. It's Foo Fighters for the full ninety minutes on the Global Satellite Network. Right, this is a call. Foo Fighters, they're with us live on Rockline tonight. And this is a call from Kevin. He's in uh, Virginia Beach listening to <laughs> FM 95. You get it? The name of the song. And this is actually a phone call. And Oh, well. WNOR in Norfolk is our station. Uh, Kevin, how you doing? Fine. What's your oh, question for Foo Fighters? I was wondering if they could pick somebody to go on tour with right now, who would it be? Oh, uh, well. ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a joke. We would love to go on tour with ACDC. But on this next tour, we're going to have bands like That Dog, a great band from uh, Los Angeles. They're on Geffen. They're an amazing band. Um, the Amps, who are a wonderful band from Ohio, with the singer is Kim Deal, formerly of the Breeders and the Pixies. We'll also be touring with Jawbreaker, another band from Los Angeles. It uh, is on Geffen Records, I believe. Wonderful band. So San Francisco. Oh, are they from San Francisco? Oh, actually, they started in Los Angeles, now they're in San Francisco. So. And then uh, we'll have a band called Ween, who I'm sure all of you know and love because they're so zany. <laughs> 
a zany that's goober. That doesn't answer the question. If we could pick. <laughs> oh, if we could pick one. Oh, we did answer ACDC. Oh, that's uh, right. Or shellac. Yeah. Shellac. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Kevin, yeah. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> By the way, uh, the tour begins uh, actually on the spring equinox, as it were. Uh, spring will spring with uh, Foo Fighters. They'll be doing three shows in Denver at the Ogden Theater the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of this month. Uh, then Kansas City at Memorial Hall on the 25th, the 26th in St. Louis at the American Theater, March 28th, Milwaukee at the Riverside Theater at the Riviera in Chicago on the 29th, and March 30th in Detroit at the State Theater. And we'll have some more dates to pass along to you, uh, the April dates for uh, Foo Fighters coming up here in just a little bit. Right now, Nick in Lexington, Kentucky, listening to 98.1 Double Q. Hi, Nick. Hey, good early morning Nick. to you gentlemen. How are you doing What's from up, the man? of the Wildcats? I got oh. two questions for you. First, Dave, what kind of electric guitar did you first start on? Uh, it was a silver tone guitar, the kind, I believe they were made by Sears. Mm -hmm. Um comes with a case with a little amp in the case and it's pretty guitar and it's really nice and that was the first one I ever had. Legendary guitars, especially the uh, amp in case model was a particular right. favorite. break easy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and Nick, what was your other question? My second question was, um, I went in the music store the other day and I picked up the Nirvana Nevermind because I'm an aspiring singer guitar player, but I couldn't find one for Foo Fighters. Any time of releasing one? A song book thing? Yes. Mm. Uh, I believe that one might be released. I think I've seen one that they asked for our approval or something. But, uh, yeah, I, I think one will be out there someday. Keep your eyes open for it, Nick. Uh, let's talk to Sierra in Plano, Texas, listening to Q102 in Dallas tonight. Sierra, you're on Rockline. Hey. Hey, uh, hey back at you. What's your question? I want to know what their favorite movies were. Favorite oh. movies? Well, uh, uh, the first two that come to mind are probably Harold and Maude mm. and Wings of Desire, maybe. Nate? Ooh, maybe Blue Velvet or Delicatessen. Oh. Interesting. Delicatessen's great. Hmm. I think Pat's would probably be uh, uh. Clueless and <laughs> mine would probably be uh... Happy Gilmore. Is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Raising Arizona was one of my favorite movies ever. I thought oh, that yeah. movie was genius. Good I movie. I love that movie. And, Either uh, that or Taxi Driver. It seems like uh, Nicolas Cage is finally getting his due uh, with uh, his Leaving Las Vegas film this year. And, uh, That's right. That was a good movie. Too. Oh, it was. Very, very interesting film. I just saw Il Postino. That's a ah, wonderful movie. Also up for Best Picture, I believe. I'll come back next week. Uh, you, uh, can you play live for us some more? What would you... What do you got on tap there, Dave? Well, we could do a song that's called How I Miss You. And it's, uh, I believe it's going to be on the B side of the Big Me single, something like that. I'm not sure, but it's an old song. And it's, it's like this. <laughs> 